what's going on guys, it's Death Monk here. Today we're going to be talking about some rather interesting information concerning the campaign uh, for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the early access campaign that is. Uh, just for those who don't know, it is currently available for preload right now at the time of this video. Uh, if you want a little how-to on uh, how to actually <clears throat> preload Modern Warfare 3 on the PS5, I have posted a short already here on the channel, make sure you guys do check that out. Uh, without further ado, let's get straight into this. So as you guys can see, <coughs> excuse me, from Call of Duty's official blog, uh, as you guys can see, we're going to be talking about the pre-brief, the uh, how all the Intel card campaign, the rewards, the open combat missions, uh, and all the tips for those open combat missions. So the pre-brief, aside from revealing the number of campaign missions, the following information is considered spoiler-free. The Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 campaign is a direct continuation of Modern Warfare 2's narrative, and the stakes cannot be higher. The ultra-nationalist Vladimir Makarov is back on the scene, extending his grasp across the world. So the, you've got the uh, Intel card here, Getting Started or Training. A direct sequel, Modern Warfare 3, picks up immediately after the events of Modern Warfare 2. Join Price and Task Force 141 as they face off against the ultimate threat, the ultra-nationalist Vladimir Makarov. 2. Open Combat Missions. New Open Combat Missions redefine the traditional campaign level. Deploy to wide open locations and gear up with supply boxes, armour plates, vests and more. Take a stealthy approach or grab a vehicle and drive head on into danger. Mission, sorry, th number 3. Mission Completion Rewards. Earn over a dozen in-game awards for completing campaign including new calling cards, operators, double XP tokens and a special multiplayer weapon blueprint locked at Game Lodge for campaign completion. <coughs> From Call of Duty HQ, head to the Modern Warfare 3 section and select the campaign tile. Even though the game has already launched, we don't want to spoil anything about it. Follow the prompts when starting the campaign to choose your difficulty setting and then get right to it. The game will tell you everything that you need to know to get started. Prepare for a wild ride. So there's going to be four um, difficulties that you can choose from. Recruit, for players who are new to Call of Duty. Regular, your abilities in combat will be tested. Hardened, your skills will be strained. Veteran, you will not survive. So that's the uh, typical uh, descriptions and modes that we would always get. Uh, so the campaign mission rewards. Now I did cover this briefly in yesterday's video. Uh, but as you guys can see, um, the campaign consists of 14 different missions. All of which, but one, uh, will reward you with different um, items upon completion. So Operation 627 will get you the breather calling card, which is this one down the bottom right here. Precious Cargo will give you 30 minutes of double player XP token and 30 minutes of double weapon XP. Reactor will get you the Corso Operator, which is this guy up here. Payload will get you the Gilly Guy Calling Card, this one right here. Deep Cover, 30 minutes of XP and 30 minutes of weapon XP. Uh, passenger, uh, you won't get anything for completing that. Most likely going to be one of those little mini campaign little missions, I'm guessing. Crash Site will get you the Pathfinder Operator. This female operator up here. Flashpoint will get you the Toxic Drip calling card, which is this one right here, the one that looks like half ghost, half human. Uh, we've also got Oligarch, which will give you one hour double player XP and one hour double weapon XP. High Rise will get you the Dock Operator, which is this uh, female skin I think that is up there. Frozen Tundra will get you the Skull Rhapsody calling card, which is this, I'm assuming it's referring to this one right here. Uh, another one, Gora Dam, will get you one hour of double player XP and one hour of double weapon XP. Danger Claws will get you the Jabber Operator. And the Trojan Horse will be a campaign completion emblem and the weapon blueprint. We still don't know what that weapon blueprint is. Although, going from the image, we can assume it's supposed to be some sort of AR or LMG. <clears throat> Open Combat Missions. Modern Warfare 3 introduces open combat missions, or OCMs, which occur throughout the campaign alongside more traditional single player missions. OCMs for redefined player agency, offering an unparalleled degree of freedom and greatly expanding the playable area. Number 1. Fixed objective, endless possibilities. You're there to complete the mission, but how you do it is up to you. Slip through like a shadow, go in loud and start blasting. Scavenge extra gear throughout the AO, or area of operation, to suit your preferred playstyle. Number 2. Seek out essential gear. While seeking out new weapons, armor plates and other items, keep your eyes peeled for zip lines and ascenders. Often near objective locations, these items skyrocket your movement potentially across the map. But they were just here. Caught off guard and outnumbered, retreat into the environment using your ascender and parachute too quickly to get out of view. If the enemies lose sight of you for long enough, they will eventually stop their direct pursuit and resort to the vicinity for you. 
your operator. Now we've got a cool image of uh, Price, Gaz and Soap there in the background. Open combat missions, or OCMs, require the best of the best. In each mission you will deploy as a designated member of Task Force 141. Farah, Ghost, Gaz, Soap or Price. In your first playthrough of an OCM, your operator is assigned a starting loadout according to the mission's narrative including the spotter scope to better scan the environment for enemy threats, tagging enemies, locating equipment and discovering information about points of interest. One of your first tasks is to seek out better gear, of which there is an abundance found throughout the area of operations. Gear up, expect to find all sorts of useful items in OCMs, including new weapons, equipment, field, upgrades and even armaments that multiplayer operators know as killstreaks that will boost your offensive and defensive capabilities. Of particular importance, however, are the Parachute, Ascender and Armor Plate Carrier upgrades. Parachute is a game changer, allowing you to safely jump from great heights and soar over long distance. Follow the button prompt when jumping from a high point to activate the parachute. When you're close to landing, your operator will automatically cut the rope and return to a standing position, or you can cut the cord manually to force a landing. Ascender, as the name suggests, going up. The Ascender helps you reach the highest points of the map. With this item, you can zip up ropes and lead to places in key positions throughout the environment, or zip lines to move across long horizontal distances. You use your elevated or newly acquired position to escape a problematic situation, snipe from a distance, or if you've got the parachute, reposition far from your current location. <clears throat> plate Carrier Upgrade Vest Initially, your operator can only equip one armor plate at a time, and a reasonable enough defense in mana battles but lacking when the action gets hectic. Find a plate carrier upgrade vest to increase the number of armor plates you can equip at a time. When you first find the vest, your carrying capacity will increase to two armor plates and then three after finding a second one. Now you're ready for anything. So the tack map and the mini map. The tack map is of essential importance, providing an overview of the objective and its location. A legend indicates the position of important items and a tracker shows you most important gear and the weapons you items you've discovered so far on the level. When just first deploying into an open combat mission, the majority of the tag map will be covered in a fog of war. As you explore the environment, the fog will be lifted, revealing greater environment detail. The mini map to pinpoint in items in your immediate surroundings without needing to pull up your tag map. Discovered weapons, supply boxes, field upgrades, and other armaments will be displayed here, along with the objective location at other points of interest. Enemy alert levels. The mini map is also your cue to the enemy's current alert level. When you've been seen, the border will turn yellow, indicating that they are aware of something in the vicinity without knowing your exact location. If found, or if you initiate the attack, the borders will turn red, to show that they know where you are. At this time, an enemy may even throw the alarm to call in reinforcements. The enemies themselves also follow this colour-coded system. Red dots on the minimap indicate enemies rushing to engage in combat, while yellow dots represent enemies on the lookout. With a fast movement and clever repositioning, it's possible to get out of the alert state, Red will revert to yellow when they've lost sight of you, but are still on your guard for your whereabouts. And then will turn to a less aggressive state if you continue to remain out of sight. At this point, you can resume your stealth operations or just get into a better position before going guns blazing again. Play it again. OCMs reward exploration and repeated playthroughs with weapons and items found throughout the level. When you replay an OCM, you get to customize your starting loadout based on the weapons and items you've found in previous playthroughs. Start the mission with your parachute and ascender already in hand, plus any extra armor carrying capacity earned through vests. Use an enhanced starting gear to push into higher difficulty levels or try new tactics. The top 5 tips. There's always another way, so grab a vehicle and race past the sentry straight to the objective. Dive into the water and reposition out of sight. Use your parachute to soar over enemy encampments. OCMs offer endless possibilities in how you approach the task at hand. If something's not right, revisit your tactics and take a new approach. The right gear for the job. While at first you'll need to make do with the gear that you provided, with enough exploration and scavenging, you'll soon find a wider variety of equipment that can best suit your style of play. If you're going stealth, throwing knives and a recon drone are better choices than frag grenades and unsuppressed weapons, and vice versa. Knowing your enemy, if you're going, if even if you're going not going through the stealth route, it pays to stay out of sight and scout nearby enemy positions. Look for red vehicles on the minimap indicating enemy patrols and scan the horizon for snipers and other threats you might miss when rushing straight in. Regardless of your approach, the intel that you'll help make best decisions in the heat of the moment. Build up your arsenal. OCMs encourage replayability through the accumulation of weapons and items found in the level. Use your arsenal to build up the perfect lowdown on the subsequent playthroughs and get right to the task at hand without first needing to scavenge for the proper supplies. And finally, ramp, ramp up the challenge. Use your expanded arsenal and subsequent playthroughs to push into higher difficulty levels. 
Tackling an OCM and veteran is much more manageable than deploying with your preferred loadout. Stay frosty. So want to know what you guys' thoughts are of this. Let me know in the comments box down below. I'm keen to hear what you guys' views and opinions are. Don't forget, um, once again, the Modern Warfare 3 campaign packs uh, of 19.443GB and 33.689GB on PS5 are available for preload right now, ready for when the um, Early Access campaign does go live on tomorrow, November the 2nd. So hope this uh, all helps you. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Make sure you guys to check out all the previous videos, which I'll link, link in the playlist and in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so I must upload, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.